Hi everybody. Uh, today we're going to be doing a Let's Play video, me and uh, my friend Nick Taylor here. And then Hello. we're going to have... Yeah, introduce yourselves if you, if you would, Nick. Oh, um, well, hello. My name is Nick Taylor. I'm going to be Joshua's uh, gaming and conversation buddy today. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be so great, frankly, isn't it, folks? Um, yeah, and so we're going to have a discussion after the game about uh, what we think of this game, uh, what kind of concepts and principles have come out of it or percolated up to our thinking, uh, and maybe more general stuff, too. But uh, on to the playing. Uh, let's uh, launch the game. Team Fight Tactics is the, the game of choice today. Right within, found within the League of Legends client, if you don't know. All right. And uh, unfortunately for me, uh, there's a glitch on the screen where it does all these like wavy lines and stuff. But uh, sort of by accident, I found out when I start sharing the, the game on Zoom, it goes away. So I always have to have Zoom up when I'm playing this game. <laughs> it's, it's, almost like, it's almost like your computer is telling you to do gaming videos. I, I know. Well, hopefully it's just reflecting uh, God's will or the one great life or whatever. I don't know if you really want to listen to com your computer telling you things. But these days, I think that's kind of unavoidable. Oh, let me take the interesting thing is if the divine will acts on your computer, it really can't say no. Uh, I guess. Programmed by a militant atheist or something. So there's all these uh, different characters here in the middle for you guys who aren't familiar with this. And uh, those things above their heads are different items that uh, give them certain advantages. Um, so Poppy's a, a vanguard. She's like a tank. And this item gives her... Uh, uh, more dodge chance and more chance to do uh, a critical strike, which is extra damage when you're attacking. And they have all sorts of synergies, like if you have two vanguards, they get six armor. And if you have three star guardians, they share mana amongst each other. And so she's a vanguard star guardian. So if I get two of her, she'll um, they'll both get bonuses. Oh no. I'm like lagging or something. What's this? Oh my I, I'm experiencing a bunch of lag. Maybe it's a game. Oh yeah, I'm getting disconnected. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, this uh, is, um, there's no official hard mode in the game, but I guess this is hard mode. <laughs> hard mode. Yeah, and you can buy uh, different people from the shop down here. Uh, to add to your team. And as your, your level goes up, you're able to have more people on your team. So I've got two of Hoppy here, uh, which you don't usually want to do, but uh, when you get more of them, they combine into a more powerful version. So you definitely want more. Let's go up here. See, now they got the Vanguard bonus because there's two guys who are Vanguard, Poppy and... Uh, this guy over here. I'm going to wait to give my items to people after I see what my team's going to look like. Who are you using, Nick? My game is extremely slow, and I'm actually still on the loading screen. Oh, God. I'm, I'm on elite mode. <laughs> so right there, I got three <coughs> Caitlyn's. And so now she's uh, level two. She's got two stars versus one star. So it's always uh, better to have uh, higher level people out there on the battlefield. I might do a Chrono or Star Guardian Vanguard. Got some Chronos, got some Vanguards. 
And each of these characters has a uh, spell or some magic power. When they, they do a bunch of hits, their mana bar gets full and they're able to activate it. Like Poppy's there is that she throws her shield and then uh, shield comes back and gives her, uh, you know, temporary hit points. Oh, nice. Oh, he's level two. You get past that screen yet? You know, I'm still not in the game. <laughs> uh, but I, I maybe I should just go ahead and watch your game on Zoom while while mine loads. Yeah, you can comment um, that I'm by like the time. <laughs> I should, well, com commentary might be the way for me, but uh, you know, uh, people don't know. But what's going to happen is I'm going to join the game late, and I'm going to have taken several losses already. So oh, you're already at ninety. You can actually a hundred. Yeah, my name at the bottom there. That little yellow bird is me, and uh, I've I've already lost quite a bit of life. Eighty-four out of a hundred. That's why it's elite mode. <laughs> You're gonna have to win with seven hit points at the end and beat everybody somehow. Yeah. See, I like Twisted Fate uh, better than than her, because she does this like one shot sniper thing. Oh, but I don't have to choose because I have uh, four people because of leveling up. So, got Chrono, which uh, every few seconds everybody on my team gets extra attack speed. So we have daylight. Are you in the game? I'm in game. All right. A, a ragtag team I've put together. Who's on your team? Uh, I have two Jaces, a Caitlyn and a Sona. Interesting. Let's see how this goes. Well, I can show them like I'm going to win. Oh wow, you are going to win. I uh, am not looking as good. Uh, no, I'm going to lose. And you take damage based on how many champions are left when uh, from the opposing team when the game is done. So now a choice to choose some new folks. I think I'm going to go with Ari, maybe. If I can get her, if nobody else takes her. You know, I was using Nico last night. I played a couple games, and I uh, her. It, Nico can actually be very good if you um, you give her the right items, because her her spell. Yeah, that spell where she jumps down and like does damage to a bunch of people and stuns them. Yeah, that's so good. Class. That's really good. Well, I had her on a Star Guardian team, so they were all like, you know, giving each other mana with their spell casting. Oh man. Oh no, now I'm frozen again. What a great let's play video. Uh, like got the entire time. Uh, I guess. Another thing, every 10 gold you have, you get extra gold in the round. So now I'm sort of debating whether I want to uh, sell this guy back to the shop so I have 10 gold at the end of this or not. I, I really don't need these people. I don't think I'm going to use them. So If I win this, I think I'll get one gold. And I can just sell Graves back. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I like Twisted Fate because he fires all those cards off. It's... Uh, Mass damage. You able to see my face, Nick? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not overlaid on the game, but I can see it in Zoom. But is it? Am I centered? Yes. All right. Sounds good. Oh, interesting too. Oh man, he's taking my characters. 
that's another thing. You sort of have less chance to get uh, certain characters in the store when uh, when somebody else buys them. Oh, he's got all these infiltrators who like jump to behind you at the start of the game, which is uh, not good. Well, I managed to win one. Nice. Get something going here. <coughs> Close, but no cigar. You combine two items, you get a better one. Uh, I'm wondering who to put that on. I want it to be somebody who's I'm going to keep around in the late game. Yes, yeah, certain items go better on certain characters, so that's always kind of a calculation. And these are just some minions you fight periodically and get items off of uh, in between the the main fights with other people. Oh, I'm gonna give Poppy Thieves gloves uh, if this leg goes away. Let's see. Hmm. Give him the rage blade. Do more damage, cast more spells. Hopefully, I get enough of them to justify them. a rough match. Oh, just managed to narrowly beat uh, Ashen Shugard, the guy who was tied for first place. Miss. Not doing so bad. Uh. These thieves gloves give her like two random. Oh, are we losing? These thieves gloves give Poppy two random items. So every turn she gets uh, other stuff. Nice. Come on. Uh oh. Oh no. This guy Darius has this move where he jumps on and does a bunch of damage and if he kills the person he jumps and does it again to somebody else. So he just killed like three of my guys because they were at low health. Unfortunately. I've sort of spaced out my guys. Uh, part of the reason is if they're all clustered together they can be vulnerable to like fireballs and things that affect a certain radius. Oh, here we are. Oh, it's me versus Nick. Let's see who's gonna win. He's got this guy Blitzcrank that pulls somebody from across the battlefield to him. So he messed with my sniper there. 
Joshua had more durable tanks, so that may win him the game here. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. yeah, my tank is pretty durable and popping. Came down to the wire, Ari versus Ari. This pink fox lady spellcaster. Mm. Nick is playing Chrono, Blaster, Sorcerer, or I guess that's just Chrono Blaster right now. I don't currently have Sorcerer, and actually I'm not planning to. I'll go ahead and, and give that away. Ari, but no Sorcerer? Well, I'm not planning to. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a good one. You should cast a spell that restores 10 mana to people next to it. Why is that? Oh, God. So she can restore mana to all these people if she cast her spell, which is good. Wukong is good. He has they're Chrono and Jumper. What's up? I was just saying they're putting me against all the good people here. Now I'm playing. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's not like in, in other tournaments where uh, you sort of get paired against people who've lost if you've lost. Yeah. And well, it's it like sort of like, like, yeah, you lost. Here, fight the first place guy now. I think they knew I was ready to beat this guy. <laughs> well, I guess it's sort of just like you play everybody probably, right? Yeah. Okay. Like I talked about in my previous video, if you get three level two guys, they combine into one level three guy. And that's definitely a desirable outcome. You refresh the shop here like I'm doing the, to see if you can get somebody you want. There's a lot of economics to it. That's true. Yeah, I've saved up 50 gold, uh, which is the maximum you can get bonus gold from. So every round I'm getting five extra gold to spend on a shop or paying to level up my team. Considering taking Caitlyn out, uh, but I don't know if I'm ready to do that yet. How do you feel about your team right now, Nick? Well, for something I cobbled together, it's pretty good. Um, not ideal, mostly because of the tank situation, but it's okay. There's, what, you know, oh, just a level one Blitzcrank? Level, level two Shen. Man, level two Shen, if you, can, if you even consider him a tank. Yeah, he's not really a tank, but well, I mean, he does that that thing with he gives the dodge thing and whatever. Yeah. Uh, now my back line's filled up, so I have to sell people if I want uh, space for new people, uh, which I guess I do. Out of Caitlin's, I don't know that I want to go that direction. I didn't think I do. Oh, we're on the leg again. Ooh, all right. Oh my god. Totally forgot to focus on the match. I'm on a winning streak. Got this fire on me. I'm in third place. Next and fourth. Other people are in uh, other places. 
Ooh, nice. Ooh, I'm getting places. Oh, look at that. Level three, Twisted Fate. Nice. nice stuff. And I'm going to give my other Vanguard over here a... Uh, I don't want to give him that. Buy these people, see where it goes. Oh, Glacian, he's fun. Uh oh, the infiltrators have come. Oh, I'm getting like the stuns from something. Mm. This Imnovo, that, I don't know what the hell his name is. But this person just uh, clobbered me. Imnovo? Huh? Oh, more lag at the shop. This may have been the, the most lag I've ever gotten in this game. Even when we've uh, you know done the same thing with Zoom. I guess the only difference is I wasn't recording them. <laughs> oh my that may God. have an effect. I guess. I mean next time I'll have to close uh, Firefox or something, but this is just crazy. Oh, nice. I have a level 3 Ari next game. Yeah, I mean, Caitlyn's useful, but... I don't know. I'm, I'm actually thinking about taking out my Caitlyn, too. Yeah, the only trouble is I'm taking out a level 2 Caitlyn to put in a level 1 Wukong. I feel like Nick usually goes for the items these people have, and I usually go for the character that they are. Yeah, it depends. But, you know, it can be harder to, to secure the items you want. Uh, yeah, the items you want than, than the people you want. So, yeah, I guess that's true. I, I go for it. But you did just take the character I wanted because of the character she wanted. <laughs> did but you choose him for the item or oh. because of who he is? Velkaz. I, no, I picked, him, I picked him for the item, though he is a great character as well. Indeed. Um, it's such a tough choice taking out Kate on the mark. I'm not getting all this lag now. I can make some choices. And now I've got the Star Guardian bonus, which is nice. Cinder has a very low mana threshold, so she can cast her spell a lot, but she's not stunned like she just was there. Oh man! Wow. Oh, sometimes you can never tell if you're you're gonna win. Like if, you know, my team's three people with super low health. Maybe I should use what's current. Oh man, I'm, I'm almost at a, a level three poppy. I've given up on Leona. I've only got a 35% chance of tier one people. You might be the only one in the game with uh, less guys on the table than on the board than me. Yeah, I always do less and try to um, get level threes. It doesn't always work out, but it makes well it could be uh as we've discussed it could be 
painful in the short term. I guess that's uh, more of the uh, sort of economics of it. Yeah. <coughs> Maybe I should move on. Oh, well, I already have. Uh, I'll put my Wukong in here. Chrono, Vanguard, Sorcerer, and Star Guardian. Boss. Uh, yes. So, yeah, I'm, I'm making do with only two buffs right now. Just Chrono and Blaster, but I have four Chrono, so that's, that's an advanced form of Chrono. Oh, yeah. They're even faster. Drop these items, these uh, enemies over here. Damn, I have so many items I should uh, probably use some. Get the Zephyr to Wukong. Just got level 3 Shen. Nice. Mm. I'm not getting the people in. I just want this one pop. I probably should have yeah. that one. Put in Velcars. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that was so damaging. Crazy. I hate that when one game just takes away a bunch of your life. Well, actually, it was me taking away their, their stuff, not the Well, I, you know, in a way, I hate doing it to other people, too. Oh, no, I love it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm buying this shit. Ugh. I mean, I'm wondering if I even want to keep Leona, or if I should just like throw somebody else in. Uh, I'm gonna try this. Uh oh, that person shouldn't be in the front because they're gonna get killed most likely. Yep. Oh, that was a nice uh, blast from Ari. She throws this ball that passes through people and then comes back and damages on the way back too. So she has a pretty nice ability. Twisted Fate. Oh yes. There we go. Other Velcons. Level three is real. I wonder if I should put something else on the con. Quicksilver. Uh. Ooh, finally. Level three poppy. Boom. Nice, nice. Uh, there's probably not any reason to stay at this tier anymore. So I'm going to upgrade my team next level. I'm in the battle for third place right now. Uh, what place am I in? I'm in second place. Oh, that Velkaz uh, move was so weak. And I'm in third. Nice. Oh no, I'm in second. Oh yeah, because I just lost. Hmm. Oh man, now I'm thinking of taking one of these people for the Star Guardian trade. Because I can give Star Guardian to my Twisted Fate, and then he'll like trigger their ability, they'll trigger his ability to get more mana for all of them. I might have taken Velkaz, but... Uh... You're, you're breaking up a little bit, by the way. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I was saying uh, I wanted this, this item, which is uh, Star Guardian. 
Makes people a star guardian. Yeah. Oh, to make somebody. Yeah, I'm gonna be somebody the star guardian. Twisted fate. Yeah. And I'm gonna level up my team to the next tier. Put another vanguard out there just for uh, safety. You know, I was gonna take out Caitlyn, my Caitlyn for a Syndra, but I'm just not finding any Syndras in the show. Yeah, I bought all of them. I, I figured it might. <laughs> I've got this Ezreal though that's just unstoppable, doing the work of two centuries. Well, my team had all this. Uh, your spells cost more stuff, so this game their spell casting kept getting delayed and delayed. I love that. Almost at level three with Syndra. Wukong is still level one. If I can upgrade the shop more, I can probably get more of him. Well, there's there's a somewhat of a chance of finding it at this tier. But um should probably do something like Man, this is literally the worst lag disconnection stuff. You able to hear me still? Nick, you're breaking up just a little. Yeah, you're up a little. not able to hear me still. I wonder if my recording of this uh, is fine. I guess my recording will be okay. So the video won't look too bad. Oh my God, I'm at first. Nice. I'm, I'm Nick, Nick likes to downplay games. things. Oh, my team, you know, got messed up. This is what he does. He's usually, like, complaining all the time, and then, like, he wins. And uh, everyone thought. Everyone thought, you know, I just want it to be known. I'm not just winning. I'm winning on Super Elite. <laughs> this is what Nick likes to do. Now we're finding this boss minion guy, Kane. More lag. I'll eventually, hopefully, be able to pick up these items. Hopefully. 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 If I don't get to pick them up, uh, yeah, teleport you out of there, so that would be very good if I can pick them up. Ooh, Nico's help. Ooh, so many good items here. Put that on Syndra. All right. Now I've got a higher chance of getting uh, purple characters, 25 up from 15, so maybe I'll get uh, more Wukongs or Velkas on my team. Oh man, my, uh, my Velkas like, barely hit anybody because it was too far back. I've got a level 3 uh, Ezreal. Oh my god, this uh, Jin did such crazy damage. What health am I at? Uh, yeah, yeah. I uh, it's like, do I stay at 51 to get extra coins, or do I try to win this match? I think I'm going to try to win this match. Oh, no. There's the way. I'm just going to use Nico's help. And this will give me a little 3 Syndra. Excellent. Ooh. Higher level Velkaz, Syndra. I need Wukong. Have you seen people using Wukong? I'm using it. Oh, what level is it? Level two. Oh, God. I haven't taken more than I only have three of them. Well, yeah, this is. I think that was the right move. One extra gold. Yeah. Might not have won that game. I didn't level those guys up. 
Let's see, what can we do here? Level my team up again. What did I put in? Huh. Okay, I'm going. Yes. Level two Wukong. Oh, let's see how this goes. Oh, this infiltrator guy jumps all over the map. Oh man, I don't know what's going on. What's going to happen? Oh, I thought I had it there, but never want to speak till the match is over. Oh, so you know, if you look at the standings, there's something shaping up here. I, I think I may know who the first and second place people are going to be. <laughs> wow. Uh, that could be the case. That could be the case. Oh. Leaf gloves are really nice. They just fill in some items on somebody. It's good to give those to people who... Uh, Hmm. I guess I'll just give them to him because why not? Well, I'm sort of not wanting to announce what I'm doing because it's probably my competition for first place. Uh, who won the last time we fought? Good question. I think it was me. Not totally sure, though. <laughs> this is... Um, so far, promising. Oh, this is the guy I lost to with that sniper. Oh, I killed the sniper, so that's good. Oh, I just lost. I don't know that I'm going to be able to level up, but I might be able to. I break it now. Uh, so I wasn't able to, and I used all my money doing that. But if I can stay alive next match, it'll allow me to uh, do something. Wow, I have some nice items on Velkaz. I'll come back to life and he'll give everybody a bunch of life when he dies, so it's pretty good. Oh man, next team is nasty. Oh wow, it's really coming down to the wire here. Wow! Mm. Wow, that was close. close. Ridiculously close. Wow. And I fight this uh, weird uh, bug boss minion something or other. He's got an item that lets your spells inflict critical hits. Hmm. Put him in the front line. If I can get any more of him. Oh my god. Okay, I'll have to forget about him because this character is an this one. Uh, I want to get this to this group time because it's on the front line. Wow. Now I've got an interesting thing going on. 
Oh, I see you've leveled up. Which I have allowed me uh, to get a misfortune, as you've just seen. By the way, me and Nick agree that misfortune is like sort of the most overpowered character there is. She yeah. just like fires on the, the whole battlefield and does all this damage. She's a rough one to deal with. Ooh, Poppy's got some nice items from her thieves' gloves. Uh, Poppy's off to the side stealing stuff. Those guys have terrible items for him. Those are all like tank items. Oh, wow. Wow. You know, like, this is your video. I wanted to make sure it came out right. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Nick tries to steal from my victory by pretending he let me win. Oh, man. Oh, good game to you, sir. Good game. Let's see the final standings here. You got all these people. Uh, I've got like four level threes, a full team. That's pretty good. Sometimes my team's, you know, short on people but here i guess because i lasted till the end finally got to fill it out well you know the the second and third to last game i i gave myself six chrono the highest possible level of chrono by putting a level one twisted fade in um but then when you beat me the second time i tried putting uh that level two chogoth in instead try to have a little more on the front line but it didn't make the difference Mm. Yeah, I had a lot of spell power, last one and stuff. All right, close that down. Right. There's the play portion of our Let's Play video. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Well, that game, you know, it's so um, it's so fast paced. I mean, you know, for for a game that's sort of I don't know, strategic or planning oriented. You know what I mean? Like it, it has, um, there's, there's a little bit of that sense of like, you know, mortality, like you might have in a first person shooter type game. Like there's, there's always going to be sort of a result where you win or lose, but mm. it, it's still like, there's these sort of quick sessions of planning between the matches. Yeah, Leia, Leia can know. really mess with you in, in those type of games. At first person shoots, it definitely like, does. oh, disconnected. Sorry, you lost. I mean, not as much in this because your your team just auto does what they do every round. But in like Doom and Heretic and stuff, it's like, oh, I'm frozen. Uh, <coughs> yeah, basically. But of course, in those older first person shooters, they weren't online, so they really have leg issues, if if at all. Yeah. But with this, it's like, it's a nice, I like that it's a nice combo. Like it, it is very fast paced, but it's not all about sort of like combat instincts or something like that. Like it is sort of about planning your team strategically, but there's a lot of constant feedback, which I also like. Yeah. You were, you were talking to me uh, the other day about planning your team and sort of some, some value <coughs> or, more than just in game terms, value or got from reflecting on that. Yeah, yeah well, like, there's, um, it basically highlights, you know, aspects of your decision making. And like I'm saying, like, you know, the fact that it is a strategic game, you know, and it's a, it's a game where you're building a team, but it's also fast paced at the same time. So you're always kind of making calls. Mm -hmm. Um, it really emphasizes uh, your tendencies in your decision making. So I find like, you know, I, like especially when I first started playing the game, I would always find I'd just get like stuck on this, this one idea. And I'd be like, no, I have, to, I have to make this idea happen. And it was, you know, it would really hurt me 
because I wouldn't be focusing on the basics. I wouldn't be focusing on actually surviving. I'd be like, no, I have to make my team like this. Um, and I think like that, that corresponds to a flaw in my thinking in general, you know, that, that I've always had. So it's, it's sort of like, because it's, you know, and, and this obviously applies to all games to some extent, but it's because it's like this fast paced simulation and it really like, uh, it really gives you a sense of the, the problems in your own thinking. Yeah, you can really see a lot of your decisions displayed in in games. Like when you're just living life and, and you know, having relationships with people or going to work or whatever, you, you know, sometimes you don't notice what you're doing. But then you see it in this sort of this other way, you know, this, this game reflected back at you. And you can tell like, oh, like you were saying, I get too fixed on this one idea and I, I can't like let go of it and sort of adapt. Yeah. And... Yeah, I mean, seeing it in a game is kind of nice versus uh, in a relationship with somebody or having an argument or a discussion because with the other person, you sort of get locked into being a certain way. Yeah. And the game, there's like, there's like nobody else there holding on to your, your energy the same way another person or, or a relationship is. So you can sort of uh, experiment with stuff and, and change it up. Yeah, and I, you know, in a sense, it's like motivation is, is cheap in a game. Right, like if you're bothering to play the game, you're you're trying to win, basically, you know, or or at least, uh, I mean, that's that's your ultimate goal, even if there's other sort of stuff that you're thinking about. So it's not like in life, you know, it's not always that simple, or you know, it, it may take more for you to sort of uh, really be motivated about stuff or be motivated about any given thing but with the game it's just sort of like it's almost like an experiment it's like okay you know i'm gonna pretend to do this for a while and you know i'm gonna enter this imaginary world where like this is a goal and i don't have to take it too seriously but because i don't have to take it too seriously well, let me close the window i don't know how much that's gonna do but hopefully it'll reduce some of the noise from whatever's going on but, you know, it's like because it's a game and because I'm not ultimately taking it too seriously, in a sense, I'm taking it, I'm allowed to take it more seriously because there's no investment. It's not like a personal investment. It's not, you know, at the end of the day, if I lose the game, it's not that big a deal. And I, I don't have to sort of actually like believe in something like to be motivated in life. You kind of have to, you know, either, either, you know, be really sort of acutely aware of basic survival issues or you have to kind of believe in something. But with a game, it's just sort of like, well, I'm just gonna go in and do it. And it sort of exists for its own sake. And and because of that, I feel like it can be uh, sort of, it, it works like an experiment, like we were saying, that, that highlights your your thinking process in a way that's a little more clear. What do you think the value of it being less motivated than real life is, as you put it? Well, I don't know if I'm saying less motivated. It's more like, <coughs> like, you know, you get to just sort of see the mechanics of how you make decisions, you know, when you're motivated towards a certain one dimensional goal, other, you know, beyond, um, the complications that come up when, you, when you're living in real life, it's like, well, I'm going to do this thing because I believe this and I'm emotionally attached to these people or this cause or whatever, you know, and it's not, um, it's not this very straight ahead sort of like, okay, I have this one dimensional goal of winning. What do I have to do to get there? And what does my brain specifically do in that situation? Right. But like, with most situations in life, it's like. Is it, is it like there's too much attachment in real life? Yeah, there's attachment. Even if it's, even if it's very directly goal oriented, you know, it's, I'm doing this because I have, because I believe this is, this is the right thing or because, you know, I have this idea of myself that this is what I want to do or I'm attached to this person or something. And so, you know, there's complications that make it, you know, it's, it's more multidimensional, you know, and, and like, thank God it is, but, but that's what makes, you know, a game like Teamfight Tactics, which is so not like that, 
Well, it is sort of, there, there's a multi-dimensional aspect. There, there's a lot of variables to consider. Like, well, there's, there's, no, like well, well, it's sort of like, I mean, you're obviously real life is definitely more complicated, but if you took a, um, a somewhat simpler game like Doom, where it's like, you know, there, there's different weapons and you got to keep track of ammo and, you know, strategy and other sort of things. But it's basically like you're going around blasting people and trying to avoid getting hit and, and getting items. But in Team Fight Tactics, there, there's like all these different like intersecting grids and modules you have to intellectually use to map onto the reality of the game. Like, yeah. like I, I've gotten sort of obsessed with this... Um, this hoarding gold thing, like, like this, sort of keys into sort of part of my psychology of like hoarding stuff, I guess. Uh, so like that, every ten gold you have, you get an extra gold every round. So I usually try to get fifty gold and then just sit at fifty gold, and I'm getting more gold every round. Um, I feel like other people don't do that as often, and they're they're more refreshing the shop and trying to get stuff. But since I found out about that part of the game. Uh, I, I'm like super obsessed about doing it. But see, there's also, uh, it, and it's a good strategy to hoard, um, at least to some extent, but it's also like, uh, it's, you know, it's a limited supply that you're drawing from. So like people are, while you're hoarding, people are taking the characters that you might want. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can sort of, to some degree, make up for it with brute force at the end. Like if you're, if you're refreshing the shop, like, 10 times every round, you know, it adds to the likelihood of getting the person you want. I mean, if you're starting from scratch at the end, getting the person you want, then you're in trouble. But if you've, you know, built up to some degree along the way, you know, like I had uh, Poppy, um, and the chance of getting her later in the game keeps going down. But I built up like, you know, two, two Poppies, and then I just needed uh, two level two Poppies, and then I just needed like three more, and eventually I got it, I think, right? Unless I misremember. Uh, yeah, I think I, I did. But uh, yeah, so that's that's one dimension, like you pointed out, that dichotomy versus hoarding money versus trying to complete characters early. And, and there's also the factor of leveling up, right? So, I mean, it, when you go yeah, so up... When you le I don't think uh, I've explained this. Or they, you yeah, know, just people play. So the leveling up is every round you get 2 XP towards leveling up. And when you level up, it means you have space on your team for one more character, and the shop sells uh, better champions usually. They cost a little bit more. So like the percentage on everything on the lower end go down and the percentage of getting a higher level champions go up a little bit. Yeah. So, well, yeah, I mean, and that's it. So when, when you're hoarding gold, another potential problem with that is other people are leveling up faster than you because they're spending gold to level up. And uh, so, you know, you'll find yourself where you have four guys on your team and they have six. And so you want to minimize the amount of time that you're in that, that kind of zone. I mean, it can work out, though. Like, as you saw, I had the most level threes of anybody. I yeah. mean, there, there have been games where I had, like, you know, three level threes and then I lost to a team that had, like, no level threes but more level two guys out there. So... But yeah, there, you know, it, it's interesting because it's like a complex multidimensional game like this sort of can lend itself to understanding things in the, the real world. I mean, of course, the game is part of the real world, but in, in the quote unquote real world that are more complex and intricate versus playing Pong, uh, there's not going to be as much space there for... Uh, kind of concepts and ideas to manifest through the game to register in your consciousness. Yeah. Well, t a team fight tactics is much more like, um, I mean, it almost feels like a kind of like doing business or something, right? Cause you're, you're allocating gold literally and you're like, you know, trying to optimize your strategy and all this kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it's kind of rough because I mean, in real life, I'm just thinking about business and there's, you know, like you were talking about attachments making it difficult to move forward with things in real life that uh, in the game you can just freely sort of try out and, and see how it goes and sort of develop a new modality of dealing with people in the world. Yeah. But, you know, in business situations, it's like, you know, people's lives are on the line, you know, or livelihood rather. And, uh, you know, you're getting paid and whatever. 
you know, it, I mean, it would be neat, you know, to just employ this stuff in the real world, but it takes so much uh, effort, you know, to make a business and stuff. And the business climate's not great with tons of regulations today. So that's an even bigger hurdle. Yeah, you, you can't always just, uh, if, I mean, if only the real world were more like team fight tactics. <laughs> where, where you're locked in this uh, cockfighting sort of deathmatch thing. We'd all be dressed better. We'd all have like space armor and stuff like well, that. Well, yeah. I mean, well, space armor now. But when they, you know, do the new, what, what do you call it when they change the thing? I think it's uh, seasons. Yeah, the new season, you know, go back to like the medieval stuff or whatever. Yeah. So we'll all go back to, uh, you know, using latrines and uh, At the whim of the gods and, and casting magic instead of space magic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this, I, I, it's like, you know, it's great because it's about, you know, considered risk calculated risk and 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 it's just about sort of like figuring the best way to manage it because there's this constant like like i was saying it's fast paced it's round after round so there's always you're always working against the risk of a bad loss you're always like sort of okay how do i sort of structure my my spending patterns you know or or how do i you know focus on this or that aspect of my team like do i focus on the more defensive part of my team do i focus on having this specific um you know synergy that is going to work really well do i decide to take a few losses in the short term because i'm building a really good team in the long term basic stuff like that yeah i've adapted you know some of my thinking uh just talking about this game on on what to do but i i find i often get into ruts in games like I like a certain thing and I just always go to that. Oh yeah. I mean, that's what, you know, that's what I started off talking about. And that's like the pretty much the number one thing for me. It still happens to me in this game sometimes. But, but see, in contrast to you, the thing that I get in a rut about, it's like, I notice it and I've, I've noticed this for a long time, but it's like, I don't feel I can actually do anything. about it. Like okay. th the thing in me is, is, <laughs> not able to be worked on psychologically or spiritually that I can actually change it out there because I, I'm not able to, to fully change it in here. So I just go into this gold hoarding thing, you know, in this game and I sort of stay there and, you know, in magic, the gathering, I like playing control decks and it's like the, the game environment in magic, the gathering arena just changed. And it made like my my counterspell control decks like kind of kind of suck uh, to some degree. And then part of part of the effect of that is I just sort of lost interest in the game instead of uh, making new decks that would have been more effective. Yeah. Well, see, being adaptable is is good too. I mean, it's uh, and and you know. Well, I'm not saying my thing is good. I, no, I, I know. This is how it is. I, I know that. But I, yeah, I mean, it's always going to be like it, it, a balance somewhat because what you're doing is, you know, not everybody even has the uh, the wherewithal to do what, what you're doing with, you know. What do you mean? Uh, putting in the effort to sort of, uh, uh, you know, focus on long-term goals and, and what you call hoarding and, you know, uh, try, trying to sort of control the situation more. But, uh, yeah, you also have to be adaptive. Like like when you like when you're joining the game five minutes late because of lag and uh, <laughs> you know, kind of stuff. And then you uh, win but pretend to lose because somebody's filming the video, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. I mean, and, and generosity is another thing that's important. But, <laughs> but uh, it's like, yeah, you, you um, that that's what's great about games that are and and especially I mean to me a game like this is perfect right because i want it to be fast paced i want it to give a lot of feedback but i also don't want it to be about like reflexes because i i have terrible reflexes like i want it to be about sort of systemic thinking and like oh i'm gonna do this plus that and then you know it, it's more like um it's more something you'd make like a flow chart about you know it's 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 less like a fighting game or something 
Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I guess you and me can both agree that we're not into fighting games, unlike some of our uh, previous friends. Yeah. Yeah. We, we both had these friends who, who were super into fighting games. Yeah, that's interesting. People are into different things. Yeah, I think uh, we, we've talked enough this video. We don't want to make it uh, the Joe Rogan experience three hours long. No. Any, any closing thoughts? Um, no. <laughs> Just everything we've said. All right. Well, thanks, Nick, for uh, helping me make this uh, great video. I hope you all uh, liked it out there. Like, share, subscribe if you did. And until uh, next time, live long and prosper. Adios.